Let's get into some of these concerns a little deeper, including whether to arm teachers in America. For that, I'm joined by Becky Pringle. She's the president of the National Education Association, the largest labor union in the country, representing three million educators. Ms. Pringle, thank you for joining the news hour. Ms. Pringle, you were a middle school teacher when the Columbine shootings happened. In the 23 years since, mass school shootings have continued despite efforts to harden schools or even to arm teachers. Are you seeing a more earnest effort now in Washington with this bipartisan framework that gives you new hope our schools can be made to feel safe again? It's good to be with you again, Stephanie. You know, I have been teaching for 23 years, middle-level learners, when 23 years ago uh, we had uh, 12 students and, and one teacher killed in Columbine. And I'll never forget the day after students coming to my classroom, just like they did two weeks ago, to teachers all over this country asking, are we safe? Is that going to happen here? And I said with confidence 23 years ago, oh, baby, this country will never let that happen again. And then Virginia Tech and Sandy Hook and Parkland and so many more we can't even name let alone all of the gun violence on the streets of, of this country. I will tell you that um, I am so incredibly proud of the work that our students and educators and parents have done because of their courage and because of their resilience and their resolve. I believe that we have been heard and the bipartisan agreement that has been reached address some of the, our concerns, not all of them. So we will continue to push, but it does give them hope, especially our students, that their voices and their stories can make a difference and we can change what's happening in this country. Uh, what is not in that bipartisan framework? Um, for example, 18-year-olds are still going to be able to buy assault weapons. There is no assault weapons ban. What specifically would you be asking for that is not currently in the bipartisan framework? We would absolutely and can, will continue to ask for a ban on assault weapons. We also will continue to fight for, for raising that age limit. Additionally, while the bipartisan agreement, we, we still uh, have yet to hear all of the details of it, we want to make sure that it goes far enough to close all of the loopholes when we uh, talk about background checks. We also uh, know that they are looking at looking towards states to pass red flag laws. We believe the federal government should act on that as well. Uh, and so there are other, other issues that when the details come out, they uh, will not, we don't, we don't believe we'll, they will include all of the comprehensive common sense gun laws that Honestly, Stephanie, the majority of Americans support in this country. One policy I know you do not support is arming teachers. And Ohio's governor signed a bill yesterday that would give schools the option to allow school employees to be armed with only 24 hours of training. What is your reaction to that, Ms. Pringle? You know, Stephanie, I talked to the educators, some educators from Ohio, and they were in tears when I spoke with them last night, as a matter of fact. Uh, that their governor would sign into law. Uh, anything that would put more responsibility on them. We know that our educators all over this country are, are focused on teaching and nurturing and supporting our students. For there to be a law that uh, has them armed, which of course puts more guns in the schools, we know more guns equals more violence, and for them to bear that responsibility, it is absolutely, absolutely unconscionable. Overwhelmingly do not support this. And let me tell you this statistic. In 2013, the state of Texas passed a similar law. Only 361 out of a possible um, um, nearly 370,000 teachers who are in the state of Texas actually took them up on that. Um, so we know that's not a solution. It's not. It is a false yeah. idea to, that we do anything. Just to be clear, my understanding of the Ohio law uh, just signed is that it gives teachers the options. So I, I just want to say that the, one of the perspectives from supporters of arming teachers um, is that it gives them the ability to protect themselves and their classrooms if they choose to be armed. Is there any scenario in which you see with the proper training that a teacher should have that option? You know, I've talked to teachers all over this country, and I will tell you, as a teacher for, who taught for over 30 years, 
um, educators always take uh, that additional responsibility on. They always feel like it's a responsibility to stand in the gaps for our students. So when laws like these are proposed, it, it puts that pressure on them that the society believes that they are the ones that should be defending our kids with guns. That's not okay to put that pressure on them. And we will continue to speak out against that. I know there are a lot of parents uh, speaking out against that as well. Uh, Becky Pringle, president of the National Education Association, thank you so much for joining the News Hour. Thank you.